Um, obviously, safety warning when you do any electrics, isolate the power first um, before you do any work um, to make sure you're safe and obviously check to make sure that there's no power going for it. Use a lamp or something, plug it in, uh, make sure the, works, the lamp's working and then you'll know that there's no power going to this socket. Hi guys, welcome to the video on wiring a Spanish plug. So to get it to this stage, um, you'll, you'll get your plug uh, come in a box like this. So you take this one apart by just removing the Phillips screw in the middle there. And then obviously once you've done that, it's gonna be in two pieces. Uh, they may be slightly different. I think there is a, a spring clip version, but obviously this is the screw type. So undo these three screws to the maximum and then that will give you access to the openings to get the cables in here. So if you have a double like this one, then you'll have three, three cables initially going into the back. I'll put up a screenshot so you can see what I mean. And then you'll have three shorter cables bridging across to... So yeah, when you're bridging, when you've got the double socket, obviously you'll have three main cables coming in and then you'd have three bridging cables, uh, as in three shorter cables, to go through the socket, through the middle there, there'll be the hole, and then you can just pull them through and obviously wire in the, uh, the second socket. A little tip when you're uh, doing your bridging cable uh, from socket to socket, uh, you want it about eight inches long for the three colors, for the blue, the black, and the uh, green and yellow the other plug like this so um, the earth wire goes at the bottom so that's going to go in there I'll show you it connected in a second and then um, I do blue to the right and black to the left and I've done that throughout the whole I'll put up a screenshot of that so that's clear as well so I'm just going to connect these three so you can see before I put it back in the box so there you go, that's the three cables connected. And that's a case of getting into the frame. Sometimes I loosen the frame to get this in, uh, especially if we've got two cables in each one when I'm doing the bridge from this one. That is a bit more fiddly. Um, but if you just bend the wires a little bit, you should be able to get it in there. It's not the best design because obviously the cables are coming out the top you can jiggle it as you can see there so I push that in all the way that's pushed in they do pop out a little bit and then obviously you put this one back in so again this one can be a bit tight sometimes so that's why I do pull that out first then screw that in and then just give it a tap and, um, and push it back in before putting your frame on to finish it off. So I'm going to tighten that up and push that in place. Tools for the job that I did use, I had these cutters uh, just to remove the wire from the end, very useful, and a Phillips screwdriver. Um, that done most of the work. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe.